<laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rocket Miller Reviews. My name is John, and this is going to be my second video of uh, today. It's another uh, challenge. I was recently challenged by Lair of the Alchemist, and his challenge was five ballads within the realm of uh, rock and metal music. So, in order to uh, save time with the editing and everything, I went through my CD collection and I picked out five discs and uh, I'm going to be picking one song from each of them. Now on one of them I will be cheating so let me start out with this one. In his video he chose uh, Freebird so that's a great song but um, you know, I'm a big fan of Leonard Skinner so this is their greatest hits album and the song I wanted to choose is not on here but I'm going to choose it anyway. It's uh, Tuesday's Gone. I really love this song. It's, you know, it's very bluesy. An acoustic song is very uh, melodic. James Hetfield uh, sang this song on Metallica's uh, Garage Days, their covers album. And definitely, I love the song. And my next pick, I'm going to go a little heavier this time. Slipknot, Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses. The song I picked is Vermilion Part 2. Now in Part 1, it's a really super heavy song, but Part 2, it's like a continuation of the story, but it's an acoustic song. So Vermilion Part 2, it's about, I think it's like a love lost or a love that can never be. It's very dark. It's a heartbreaking song. I really love, um, you know, how he plays it, like acoustically, they use uh, like in, um, a different uh, tuning. I think I've tried playing it a few times on the acoustic guitar. It's one of those like dark haunting, uh, kind of like maybe like a grungy song. So that's Slipknot. My next one is going to be from Anthrax. And the song is NFB, which means nice effing ballad. I'm sorry, I don't curse on this channel. Um, back in the early 90s, uh, all these metal bands were always putting out ballads and they kind of like did this as, I guess, like a joke. Because basically what these bands were doing is like they were just like taking out the acoustic guitars and they would play like three or four chords and it would be like a C, G, D or whatever the chords are. They would just start strumming. They wrote like these like cheesy lyrics about uh, somebody like falling in love. In the end, uh, you know, she, she gets hit by a bus, and it's so cheesy. Uh, there's like a, a solo on it, and it was meant as a joke because these metal bands were putting out these ballads that were just like this, and they were like shooting like inside the top ten Billboard songs and being played on MTV like all the, during the day. So that was kind of the joke. So let me show the album again. Attack of the Killer Bees. It's like an EP, but definitely a, a great album. It's a long album. They, they say EP, but it's actually a long album. Next, I have uh, Saigon Kick. So the song I'm going to choose is Love is on the Way. Now, Saigon Kick, they probably get lumped up with all of the different hair metal bands, but I really like them. They use a lot of different styles. They're very talented guys, a very talented band. Love Is On The Way, it uses like a classical guitar. And if I remember correctly, I think it might just be like one guitar and, and singing. And it's definitely a very nice song. It's a very beautiful song. So that we want to have for Saigon Kick. And my fifth pick is going to be Alice Cooper. Love It To Death. Now this is probably my favorite album. One of my favorites, maybe. I bought this, I was 18 years old. I remember walking to the music store and uh, this was back when they had those CD boxes. Did anyone remember those? The boxes that came like a cardboard box about this big and the CD came in it. I'm dating myself. Um, but the song I chose is The Ballad of Dwight Fry. Now, this is a song he plays live, and this is a song I kind of like, he shows, how would I say this? This is like 
the classic like Alice Cooper sound. It's a six minute song. It starts out with acoustic guitar strumming. And Alice Cooper, you see him in the straight jacket I got during the live show. Uh, it's a very ca catchy song. I really love this one. Uh, so the Ballad of Dwight Fry. I have that as my number five pick. So that's my challenge. Lair of the Alchemist. Challenge accepted. So Gary from Physical Format Rock and Roll, I'll be waiting for your uh, video. We got the challenge out to you too. So for those of you uh, watching this, check out those two channels, Lair of the Alchemist and Physical Format Rock and Roll. I'll uh, link them in my description too. So let me close out. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.